ਨਾ ਮੈਂ de Paris n'importe bras bras sur en j'entends des chansons bras dessus de Paris n'importe bras bras sur en j'entends des chansons bras dessus Bin in die alte Bitte. Die alte Maro. First next. Is that you? Go we'll pick for snacks. Go we'll pick for finger snacks.
Looking for a tunnel? There's no tunnel. Tempting just like Alice. Must be one tasty blanket. So, fairly certain this is the first uh, vlogging I've done in the new year of 2021. Cause I have been lazy. 
and not wanting to do things and it's been a great time what am I doing um so yeah I'm just not really wanting to do the things and also like that 24 hour readathon that I kept wanting to try to make happen didn't end up happening and then I was like mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway um so yeah I went back to work for the week it went decently enough back to being cray busy <laughs> and yeah um, we ordered a proper Christmas tree, um, last week as well, now that Christmas is over, to get clearance prices and such. So, we now have, I think it's a six and a half foot, uh, fake tree. And it got delivered the day before yesterday, I believe. So, it's sitting inside the front door, um, waiting for us to do what we will with it um so far the plan is to also um so until we get a cat tree and then we're gonna put them up sort of in the same area in the living room and just sort of have them up outside of christmas time to see if we can get the cats to like adjust to just being okay just being chill with it um to see if maybe, maybe we can actually have a Christmas tree just in a common area instead of just locked away in a room that no one uses much so that they're not exposed to it. Because that would be great. <laughs> we managed it at my parents' house so it would be lovely if we could do it here because I want to have a Christmas tree in the main room, man. I miss it. But anyway there's that um I also cash in some of my work like Christmassy gift stuff where they give us gift cards in place of our yearly luncheon and so I got a gigantic puzzle board spinner thing <sighs> so I can actually do my puzzles again because first like the tables we had were just small um, cause we had the little square Ikea tables, um, and then I tried using the, like, long fold-out table, which worked kind of, but then Ed ended up using it for his desk when he gave me his old desk, um, and then I didn't have basically anything to work with there, and then, um, a few months ago, Ed got me like the like a puzzle mat where like there's this inflatable tube that goes in the middle of it and you kind of roll up the puzzle around the inflatable tube so that you can put it away but it's still like intact but then we finally got the carpet <laughs> in our bedroom so now there's no floor space for me to do it in there and then like it just also wouldn't flatten out so it was hard to get the pieces to work very well. So puzzle board it is on the actual table thing. Because one it'll spin so that I'm not like aching myself like I was with the mat. Trying to like gently turn it. And, or like break my back leaning over it on the floor. Um, and it's also like gigantic. Because it's like 34 by 34 inches. And yeah. So I can actually move around different places and stuff. So yeah, it's gonna be exciting. And when we eventually have like a proper dining room table, I can even set it up there so that I can sit in a chair while I do puzzles, cause heck yeah. Anyway, so those are some things that have been happening. But now, today is Thursday, it is the 7th. Um, the runoff election for the Senate for here in Georgia happened two days ago and Democrats won heck yeah so Warnock and Ossoff won the election against 
uh, David Perdue and Kelly Loeffler. Anyway, exciting things. We got Biden, we got Asa, we got Warnock, we got Harris, we go. Anyway. <sighs> now I have to go run errands for the day. So I have plans to go to Kroger, of course, for groceries for the week. And I've got a couple recipes that I have planned out to try. Um, last week I ended up trying um, garlic butter chicken bites with lemon asparagus, which was very good apart from the fact that we made the poor choice of sprinkling a bit of the leftover like garlic sauce mixture on top of the asparagus and chicken and then it just became way too strong <laughs> and I don't think I cooked the asparagus quite as much as it should have been because it still was a little bit like tough not much but just gonna be like this probably could have done a little bit more time but it was already taking five ever so, um but yeah this week i have decided to try and make an olive garden copycat recipe of their bruschetta that they used to have which i really loved when i got it with lisa once and i think i got it one other time but it doesn't seem to be on their menu anymore and then um, I also came across a recipe for like pizza pasta, which is like pizza but with like rigatoni pasta and stuff, so that sounded interesting. So I'm going to get stuff for those two recipes to try and make this week. So that's another thing I'm going to try and do this year is like actually like legitimately cook a little bit more. Maybe since Ed and I are both actually like home a lot more often and at the same time. <laughs> so yeah. And then also Bath and Body Works is finishing up their semi-annual sale. And I do want to check if they have any other wintry stuff before that's all sold out and gone for the year. Particularly, I've been seeing Winterberry Wonder on their site. I'm very interested about that scent. But for some reason, I'm having issues with actually placing an online order. So, to the store we go, I guess. And while I'm at the uh, outdoor mall there, I will probably be going by PetSmart to get more litter because we are running low again. Running low eternally. <sighs> the lovely times of having four cats and three litter boxes in the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we did just get a third sifting uh, litter box to replace the like big deep just like general litter box that we were um, still using. So once all three of them are sifting ones, I can do litter so much faster when I clean them. Because they take like a minute to two minutes each instead of like ten minutes of like digging through. So it's going to be wonderful. Anyway, it is already after one o'clock and I've been just lazing around since like ten. So I'm going to go ahead and go now and start getting things done for the day. Especially because it's also supposed to start raining later and it's supposed to start getting colder. So it's super fun. It's like 50 right now, but it's supposed to drop down closer to like 40 by the next few hours. So, anyway, that's it. Okay, bye. Leo, get down. Little boy. It's not safe. I look almost a mess right now. It is super rainy outside and I'm just like all sweaty from bringing in all the groceries and taking out the trash in the rain and my lipstick is smeared from my mask from earlier. 
so it's great. <laughs> anyway, my hair is also just, I don't even know. We just work with it. <laughs> anyway, I got all three of my earrings done between Bath and Body Works and PetSmart and Kroger. So of course now the day is almost over, at least the daylight part of it, because it's already after 4.30, just after 4.30. But anyway, I went to Bath and Body Works first, and I did put a few things into a cart to try and place an order online for their sale, but for some reason it wasn't really working, and it seemed to be with the site because my card didn't have issues with a book order that I placed shortly afterwards for a book outlet on their like tiered sale after Christmas that they were doing, which wasn't as great as last year, but it was something. Anyway, um, so yeah, one of the things I was really looking forward to is the fact that they had a strawberry pound cake scented candle. And I'm sorry, but like, the strawberry pound cake scent is amazing. And I think it may be one of my favorites, if not the favorite right now. Because, oh my god. I first came across it when I tried it out as a car air freshener. And my god, it was beautiful. But also very dangerous if I ever entered my car while I was hungry. <laughs> because it smells so legit. But anyway, um, unfortunately, since the candle was half off, they said that they had sold out of those in the store, of course, like the day the sale started. So they were absolutely out of them. So it looks like I can't get one. Anyway. So I looked like a fool, like, wandering around the store literally, like, four or five times. Like, just all the aimless circles, seemingly, um, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. But we did it anyway. So I got some things that I had in my cart for online, some things that I didn't have online because similar to the candle, some things they just didn't have in the store and I just hadn't seen online, so we did some swaps. But anyway, I have come out of Bath & Body Works today with, first of all, the very first scent I fell in love with with Bath & Body Works, which is the Black Raspberry Vanilla. And, of course, they retired it, like, right after the first time I came across it, but anyway, there's the shower gel, and then we have honeysuckle shower gel, honeysuckles, and I sat in my house at my parents' house, and it's a lovely, like, light scent also, so this will also be good if, like, I have people visiting, such as my mom, who didn't have shower stuff with her, and I had to try to figure out what is my least, like, strongly scented shower gel that I can let her use. <laughs> and the last one, which was the main one I was looking for because it sounded so interesting and is going to probably disappear any moment because it's Christmas related is Winterberry Wonder. And this one's like a frosted bottle. It's like just the regular clear ones and this one is like frosted. Like what? None of the other ones I've had like ever have been frosted like that so that's interesting. And then since I was, while I was looking for the strawberry pound cake, anything, um, pretty much, because I love it so much, um, and everyone else where they were also doing buy to get one free for their, like, travel sized stuff, um, these were all, like, either the $6.95 or 75% off for these, so, like, 
four dollars to like six dollars each as opposed to the usual like 13 14 15 so anyway so for the buy to get one free for the travel size I'm an idiot and he freaked out thinking I lost something but then I remembered no I just dashed it away in my purse so that it was ready if I was going out places and wanted to use it. So one of those things is not in here. Um, so the first thing I grabbed was like, well technically the first thing I grabbed out of the front size, travel size stuff was this right here. Which was the only strawberry pound cake thing I could find in the store. Which is just a, a lip gloss. But strawberry pound cake. And then next to this, they had like a nourishing tinted lip balm thing where you had a soft pink and there was like, I think the one I chose was like sugared plum or something plum. And then there was a third one, but I didn't see what that shade was because I just stuck with the plum, which is the second thing that I grabbed. And then... At the last minute, I realized, oh, I only grabbed two of the things because I was going to try and see if there was anything else, strawberry pound cake at all. There wasn't. <laughs> and so I just went back and grabbed Into the Night, which is a travel size shower gel instead. So I do have this as a perfume. If I remember right, it may even still be at this desk. Unless I cleaned it up recently, which it appears that I have. Yeah, looks like I already put it away a lot at some point. But anyway, so yeah, I grabbed that. But then when I was checking out, they're like, oh, the tinted lip balm thing is part of the 75% off. So it's not ringing up as part of the buy two get one three thing. So she let me go back and grab a second one of these, which is why it was still in the bag, whereas the other two things weren't. So I put one of the strawberry pound cake lip glosses and the tinted lip balm in my purse. But yeah, haven't tried it yet because obviously I obviously have this on, but soon. Very soon. So yeah. Um. different scents here. So the first one, which would be the Winterberry Wonder, is fragrance notes of Ruby Frost Winterberry, Sparkling Cranberry, and Crystal Vanilla. And then the Honeysuckle is Apple Blossom, Dewy, honeys Dewy Honeysuckle, Freesia Petals, Soft Musk, and Sun Washed Woods. And black raspberry vanilla is just fresh raspberries, vine ripened blackberries, vanilla orchid, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere woods. And then into the night is raspberry noir, amber crystals, velvety rose petals, creamy patchouli, and mocha musk. So this one is a little bit outside my normal comfort zone because this one smells almost more like a cologne if I remember correctly, but it, I still like it. So. And I do have the Into the Stars, which is like, seems to be like a day versus a night version, like they seem to be like tied together. So I also have Into the Stars perfume, which is nice for like summertime as well. And I thought that was Alice for a minute in the box, but no, it's Ace. Ace! Hi, Ace! Ace boy! He's a good boy. And Luna's here somewhere, but she's on the pillow under my desk. Another thing I need to work on is filming my 2020 reading wrap up because 
yeah, it's 2021 now, and I haven't done it yet, and yeah. to film that and also probably try it once again to look at any on hauls that I want to do. I did do a couple the other day because my library was a wreck <sighs> and I was trying to put together my January DVR which I have to adjust after I already posted it because then G posted that uh, the Patreon read for this month was going to be The Invisible Life of Agda LaRue, which I knew was probably going to be the choice because it was like such an obvious winner already when I was voting myself for it. But yeah, I forgot. So, I didn't post that one. But I need to put it in. So. So right now, my original TBR for January was to finish The Afterlife of Holly Chase and Be Mighty and everything I thought I knew, um, which I have all started but not finished throughout 2020. And then also my Harry Potter reread book of the month, which I'm just going to skip ahead to Sorcerer's Stone um, because I decided this like winter that I wasn't really interested in continuing like forcing myself to rewatch Fantastic Beasts or reread it every year because it just isn't as good. I don't mind them. I actually really kind of liked the first Fantastic Beasts, but then the Crimes of Grindelwald is kind of like, I don't know. There's just so many more plot holes in it and stuff and just the more I think about it, the less I kind of like it. Um, Cursed Child, I don't know yet. I still reread it this year, but I decided to skip on the screenplays for the Fantastic Beast movies. So yeah. I would really like to see the Cursed Child play film because I just really want to see how they actually play some of this stuff out. Because some of this stuff is like... It sounds more of something you would see in a movie rather than a play and it's just like I, I just want to see how they choose to make this work on a stage honestly whereas the actual plot is kind of it needs some work I'd honestly say the cursed child is like um I can't decide if I like it slightly more or slightly less than like the plot hole situation of Crimes of Grindelwald. I don't know. I can't figure it out. But anyway. And yeah. Thanks. See, it's almost 5 o'clock already, which means it's probably going to be time to start cooking soon because I said that I would cook shepherd's pie for dinner tonight and my plan is to start working on it when Ed heads home when he leaves work so that I can be ready about the time that he gets home because I'm so tempted to go ahead and like film the wrap up but I don't think there's going to be time however there may be time to go ahead and get the books all sorted. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> anyway, um, I just figured I would do a little like mini haul of things and just like give myself a few minutes to sit because I've been walking around and running errands. All I've eaten today is basically just cereal. And I grabbed like a snack kind of from some of the stuff I did in the groceries and just <laughs> grabbed something small when I got back in the car after I did groceries before I went home because I was like dying. Like I literally felt like I was gonna like fall over for a minute. 
because I was so exhausted and so hungry. like rambling with literally just like no aim to it decided to just take off the last of my lipstick because it was already a mess so why not so we can go ahead and try this thing just saw another ladybox cart Ladybug corpse on my stuff, so that's great too. Total invasion. Dang, I haven't used a lip gloss with a top like this in some time. There's just this whole like streak of the old lipstick just on the bottom. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna come off that easy. Oh well. Speaking of strawberry pound cake, I've already been hoarding this on my desk for ages. Fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. So good. This one is, seems a little bit stronger on the shortcake, whereas the gloss is more like strawberry heavy, but still. Anyway. I'm sorry I hit you. Did not mean to spill this on you. Buddy baby.
Did you find more witch back there? One right there. Get to see who will find it first. Nina, good job. I think Alice needs some help. Nope, she got it. You can be up on this straggler. <laughs> Alice. <laughs> you silly girl. Great girl. books that I was going to use to um, go through the reading wrap up for 2020 and just like there, there's this stack here there's this stack here up to this one so these and then all of this and nine more I have to grab from downstairs and probably like ten or more that I don't even have anymore because I'm giving them away. <laughs> so many. That's 125 books, y'all. Finished the uh, reading wrap up for this year and <sighs> we got ourselves a mess. We got books over here. We got books over here. We got books everywhere. We got a notebook, we got a whatever. We got our setup with the camera. Uh, lovely, just, just chilling on the floor because that's the only way to get my bookshelves shut because they're short. <sighs> but yeah, during like a decent portion of it, Alice just kept getting on the bucket here and just rubbing her face all over it like this. <laughs> <laughs> making it do that. And then there was a portion of time where she climbed up on, on the bookshelf here and just rubbing her face all over the lights because Alice is a joy. <laughs> also, I am struggling to speak with these trays on today because this side is just becoming such a hassle anymore to stay on my freaking teeth. It keeps trying to fall off. Now, let me tell you. It sucks. It's annoying. Anyway. I have to clean up this giant mess now. And go eat.
Charles, I've got my book of the month subscription for January that just arrived today, as well as this fairly decently sized haul of books from Book Outlet that also arrived today. <laughs> so yeah, these are all books I've obtained just within this last week. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. Is you gonna help me go through all my books? So first we have The Book Charmer by Karen Hawkins, Doctor Who The Complete Guide by Mark Campbell, Stars Above by the Lunar Chronicles Collection by Marissa Meyer, Paper Towns by John Green, which was in a blind date with a book package, Concrete Rose by Anne G. Thomas, Matched by Ali Condi, People Like Her by Ellery Lloyd, The Dating Plan by Sarah Desai, and Doctor Who, The Essential Guide, and the cats are in love with this box. <laughs> Leo! Leo boy! First Luna taking a nap and now you? Come on. Come on, Leo Hey! Come on, Leo boy. Let me, let me have my... Can I have my books, Leo? Can I have my books? Alice, will you tell him to let me have my books? No? Okay, 
can I have my book? Leo. Okay. Can, can I have my books? Please. Little boy. Can I? Exploring the paper now. <laughs> so, book outlet haul portion. We have Love Life in the List by Cassie West, Long May She Rain by Rhiannon Thomas, Genuine Fraud by e. by E. Lockhart, China Rich Girlfriend by Ka Kevin Kwan, The Wonderful World Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. An updated copy of The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux. The Towering Sky by Catherine McGee. As well as The Dazzling Heights by Catherine McGee. I don't have book one yet. I've been wanting the series because one is beautiful but also the series just sounds so interesting. But Book Outlet didn't have book one so we're just going to have to settle for getting it elsewhere. But these were so cheap that I went ahead and grabbed those. Turbulence by David Soleil, Invictus by Ryan Groudon, updated copy of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, The Lookalike by Erica Spindler, and the last book that I have is Ace! Ace! Hey! 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 No! <sighs> the last book. <laughs> is Doctor Who, the Book of Universal Records. And then the last thing in the box is this right here, which is a movie visual puns puzzle. Yeah. I couldn't really see well online to see what all is in this, but it'll be interesting. Especially now that I have a puzzle board so I can get back into puzzles again. So yeah. There's my books. <laughs> You're closing in that box. Alright, kids, ready to flood out this door? Or maybe not quite. Just ace. got in the haul I did a minute ago that this is also there. It was just hiding vertically on like the inside edge. So I lost it. Behind the flap. Fully execute. 
that I will faithfully execute. The office of President of the United States. Office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability, will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Thank President. You. Of me in here and Leo who was just already hanging out with the bed and he's being a bitey boy again today bitey boy bitey boy let me pet you let me pet you oh And we have Anisius and Miss Alice. Ooh, no. to plug my phone back in earlier so you're currently done with a long cord but thankfully it's my 10 foot cord so I'm not too strapped to the wall but it means the kitties can get the phone blade toy we said it's come back inauguration was at noon today so I set an alarm for like 11:45. but apparently I was wrong because literally like the almost the second I turned on like a stream for it on YouTube he was literally swearing in so yeah almost missed it so yeah, it literally got in time, just in time, with like five seconds to spare before Biden was sworn in, and then did his speech, and then they had Garth Brooks sing, and they had Reverend, I don't know what his name was, um, do a benediction, and then it was over! So...
anyway. I'm free till like 2.15 so I've got about like 20 more minutes. And then at 3 o'clock I'm due to have a virtual meeting for the December MVP top performers because I was MVP y'all again. <sighs> anyway. I'm still kind of like at a loss a little bit on like what I want to do with this whole new channel thing that I've been setting up because I want to do more bookish things so I don't know if I'm just gonna do like the booktube newbie tag or if I want to just start out with like a scavenger hunt thing or if I want to just do like a little vlog thing I don't really know but since I've been crappy with vlogging in general, I figured I would go ahead and at least try and vlog something right now while I have a chance. Because I've been terrible about it. Honestly, though. And hey, I put in effort with like actual hair and makeup today because of that whole meeting thing. So. We have tried the little like tiny space bun thing uh, today <laughs> and I finally remembered to sharpen the uh, matte lipstick pencil that I have. It's like the uh, S Sugar brand and it's Stephanie Plum. I don't remember if I actually tried it when I first got it or not. I don't remember trying it on yet previously but... When I went to use it like a week or so ago, I opened it and it was like totally broken. Like the, the tip had fallen off or broken off or something. So I could not use it like even if I wanted to until I had a chance to sharpen it. And just kept forgetting to dig out the special sharpener from my makeup box because it was buried in the very, very, very bottom. So yeah. I don't really know what else to do at this point for the rest of my lunch break. I'll probably just check my phone for a few minutes and kind of go from there. I should be reading, but I've been having a hard time like trying to get into reading for very long while I'm working the last few days. I think part of it's because I spoiled myself so badly last year where I was just listening to audiobooks pretty much all the time and that the availability of an audiobook pretty much drove the majority of what oh my god um, pretty much the ability to actually obtain an audiobook more or less decided on what I read the majority of last year and I wanted to be a little less reliant on audiobooks this year so yeah I haven't picked one up this time even though I thought about it just so I could like really get through this book and get into it where I'm like on a roll and want to keep like actively reading and supposed to just that first little bit where, where I'm just like not totally sure on starting a new book or I'm still kind of like no, 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 it's just kind of slow so yeah but we'll see anyway um if I haven't mentioned I've been reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue that's what I'm reading right now um so yeah Yeah, not a whole lot else going on recently, like, I got the whole tons of books yesterday, and last Friday when I went up to Marietta and to Second and Charles was David's birthday, though I didn't actually see him that day because he was working, because a fool, clearly, <laughs> but I did actually make a point of sending him a birthday gift because I've been kind of terrible about that in few years past yeah. I got him a set of like 
LED strip lights that you can put in your car and they can sync to like music and stuff so apparently it was like the perfect thing and just, yeah, um, he put them in his car when he was doing some sort of like drifting track expo thing I don't really know what it is that he does but there's some sort of events that he goes to and he was able to like go drift the car on a track so he put up a video using them if I can I will put a clip of it in <laughs> That's about it. Like properly now. Kind of a crap vlog, but you know, it's something, it's an update. We're going through some stuff right now, trying to figure out how to be more productive the last few days because it's been a struggle. Got some messing with my computer. It's officially time to go. This is the bookish scavenger hunt challenge. Find a book with a crown on the cover. Find a book with stars on the cover or in the title. Find a book that has a number in the title. Find a book with three or more people on the cover. Find a book with an animal on the cover, real or mythical. Find a book that has a love triangle in it. Find a book that has enemies to lovers in it. And finally, a book by two or more authors. <laughs> out of the shower a few minutes ago but we probably have cooled off enough to and I just finished doing some cleaning for the day okay, fresh. um so yeah I got up this morning around what's it like 8 30 9 o'clock um, and then decided to just sort of chill. Um, I ate the chocolate croissants and fruit snacks that I picked up from groceries yesterday for breakfast and spent a couple hours continuing to work on the puzzle that I got yesterday. So, between last night and this morning, this far done. This is what I was working on this morning for the most part. I started this section last night but didn't get very far at all. So the majority of this is this morning and then the rest of it, the borders and these two, three areas, four technically, um, are all from last night. So yeah, um, I worked on that till about 12.30. And then I went and did some cleaning, so I did the litter boxes, I swept the house, I cleaned the bathrooms a bit, and what else was there? The dishes. Took care of those too. And then did a shower because I was super sweaty. And now I'm taking my time to go ahead and eat some lunch. I decided to, um, I got some white mountain bread at Publix yesterday, um, and I toasted myself a roast beef and cheese sandwich in the air fryer oven thing, so, should be pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm now settling in to watch Tim Tracker vlogs. <laughs> Because several months ago, I decided to go ahead and watch through all of their vlogs back from the beginning, which is like 2009, and I had to kind of take a back seat for like newts and stuff, and then Christmas and just general, trying to focus more on reading for a while. Um, so it's just kind of like here and there. So I'm only to like November of 2012, so it's like three years in to their vlogs over the last like six, 
months maybe. <laughs> so yeah. I'll watch some of that in the background while I work on my puzzle and eat my lunch. Hey YouTube. Hey, hi. Do you finally care about Ariel? Is there some on the floor? Over here is. No, no. You two are funny. <laughs> you trying to attack us? I can't get berries. You can do it in there.
have so many. Annie. 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 Go on. Go with me In a row in me Do you have Where are my fellow book readers at? Show me your prettiest book. Your tiniest book. A book you highly suggest. A book you're currently reading. And one of your favorite books. La mer. La mer. On va danser le long des golfes. On va danser le long des golfes. Mmh, le long des golfes. On va danser le long des golfes. Sur ta 
la chevelure profonde aux acres parfums. Sur ta chevelure profonde au fin. Mère odorante et vagabonde aux flots bleus et reins. Comme mère odorante et vagabonde aux flots bleus et reins. with work a few minutes ago and yeah basically just kind of closing out the like reading vlog sort of thing for this month um I've already edited everything before today uh last night so I know it's kind of like a little bit spotty in places where it's just kind of like a little disjointed not a whole lot of discussion of reading stuff, but a lot of this month was spent trying to figure out one, if I was going to be starting a new channel versus trying to just reorganize my old one, two, trying to figure out like name for the new channel, uh, design new stuff for the new channel between like channel art and intros and all that, and then just deciding like what sort of content to put up so yeah right now I am tentatively looking to post my first proper video which is like the booktube newbie slash bookshelf tag on this Friday which would be the 5th of February and then next Friday um the 13th I think um will be when I post this vlog and I'm used to do like daily ish vlogs, so I just sort of decided at the last minute to just put together as a, like a month long thing because I wasn't sure if I was going to still do vlogs separately or do them just kind of like 
intermittently or what. Um, cause last I was doing was like on a weekly-ish basis. Um, so yeah. That's why they're a little disjointed. But now that I have a little bit more direction with things, I kind of know what I want to do going forward for next month. So February will hopefully be a little bit more bookish centered, but also just generally a little more on top of things. Cause I'm also used to being like several months behind cause things happened with my whole channel and the whole editing process. It, it didn't go over well because I just had a bad start of things and then it just snowballed from there. <laughs> but I'm determined not to make that happen this time. So yeah. Um, I just finished making dinner. I'm gonna have some uh, fettuccine alfredo and get myself a cream soap. Yeah, my cart. And I just finished um, putting together like a TBR for next month. Um, so I'll probably go over that tomorrow. I just put it together and then came downstairs so I could eat and forgot to actually film that upstairs. But it's fine. I'll go over it tomorrow. Um, and I'll be posting it to Instagram tonight. Um, like the photo. But yeah. It'd be fun times. Um, I am considering potentially doing like a wrap up slash review of sorts potentially for um, the last video of February, but I'm still kind of figuring that out what I want to do for the last month. I've got the third week figured out where I basically just went through all of my unread books as they stand currently um just as a as a start to the year to see just how much of my bookshelf is read and how much is unread and, and there was a lot <laughs> um so yeah um but yeah this month was kind of crap for reading because i was just distracted with the new channel stuff which took a lot of time trying to sort that stuff out and then also like I had just recently gotten the puzzle board so since I've been like at a standstill not being able to do puzzles for like four years I kind of went on a whole puzzle kick for a minute <sighs> and then also as I was saying uh, a couple weeks ago about how I was coming off of doing a lot of audiobooks last year and I was just kind of enjoying the break to just do physical reading only because I hadn't really like done a whole lot of that recently <laughs> before like Christmas time so yeah but I will probably start getting back into audiobooks at least a bit for February because I just I only read like technically two books this month and that is abysmal and yeah I'm not happy unless I get like at least four done <laughs> in a month so I need to get in the gear and get back into proper reading um but yeah uh so far though still reading this um but I am now, god dang, I'm on page 170 out of like, dang, I don't even know offhand, I want to say like 380, no, 442 pages, we got a ways to go still with this one. But I'm probably going to go back to my old um, system of having one physical read and one audiobook to read at the same time because also another thing that has been slowing down my reading progress is I used to also kind of fly through audiobooks faster even more so than just listening to them at work. 
because I was also listening to them to go to sleep, and I have been instead marathoning through the Potterless podcast, because I found that the last couple months, and yeah, it's, yeah, it's easier to fall asleep to than an audiobook, because it's easier for me to, like, find my place the next day, as opposed to with audiobooks, where yes, I'll set a sleep timer for both, but at least, like, Potterless, like, I have an idea of, like, because I know generally what's happening in the movie or in the book that they're talking about, I can kind of determine, oh, I need to go back further or I need to go further forward to find where I was at. As opposed to if I'm listening to an audiobook where I've never read the story before, I don't really necessarily know. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... So yeah, I'll probably go back to still just doing audiobooks at work shifts. Simply because it's just been harder to, like, do physical reading during work shifts. Because I just prefer to, like, not be stopped with while I'm actually doing, like, actual work work. <laughs> so, at least audiobooks I can listen to it while I'm, like, actively working. But yeah, those are my plans for this month, and I'm kind of excited with how things are going, and yeah, I'm super excited to like actually start posting stuff to this new channel and see how things go because I'm really liking how things are going so far <laughs> with all the prep work, like I really like how all of my intro stuff and everything turned out, and I worked on like the little transition sort of cards like just like the date transition page thing i'm blanking on what i want to call the name for it but anyway uh the vlog date art i don't know i had the word i was looking for and then i lost it <laughs> but anyway I like how that came, the that art work thing stuff turned out. <laughs> anyway, um, my food is probably gonna start getting cold if I wait much longer, so I think I'm gonna end things here. But yeah, it's been an exciting start to 2021, and it's gonna be interesting to see from here how this channel rolls out. <laughs> Pour le jour et un mari pour la nuit, j'ai un amour.